Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about the iPhone SDK. I'm going to explain it. I'm going to tell you about the release date and everything like that. Just some information about it that I've picked up from various websites and just heard on YouTube and just from talking to people. Okay. Alright. Now, the first thing I want to do is explain what an SDK is. An SDK is, stands for Software Development Kit. Um, it will allow developers to develop for the iPhone, but you will not have to hack your phone to get all the the uh, cool apps and like games and everything like that. It's it, and it'll allow people just. I don't know if Apple's going to allow regular people to develop for it. I doubt they will because they said that they wanted it to be like protected, or, like from viruses and malware and all that crap like that. They want it to be protected so I I doubt that it will get just regular people to develop or not qualified developers. I think it will be only allowed to the just big developers. And which and that means that I think the apps are gonna be really good. Like I think that the apps that Apple releases with iPhone will be a lot better than the uh, apps that you get with installer app. I mean, I have a jailbreak phone, a jailbroken phone, and I love the all the third-party apps and all that, and the games and everything like that, and customizing your thing, your home screen, and all that crap. I think Apple's gonna let you customize your icons and stuff, not your carrier image, because that's they kind of have the contract with AT&T, and AT&T uh, just create controversy, but. It's the release date is supposed to be this Thursday, March sixth. It the uh, it's gonna be in Cupertino. I think it's called, I think that's how they called it. It's an Apple. They're having an Apple event on March sixth. It's gonna be it starts at ten a.m. I don't know if that what time zone that's in, but uh, it's this Thursday. So. And I would, like, if I was you, if you have a jailbroken phone, I've got a jailbroken phone, and once the Apple comes out with the SDK, I'm going back to the original Apple firmware to have the SDK. I don't, I mean, the installer app, I like it and stuff, but it's, I've had kind of some problems with it, and I've got lots of messages of people having problems. Like now, if you jailbreak the 1.1.4 firmware, I've got lots of emails of people telling me that their uh, email is not working no more and the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. They said they could fix the Bluetooth, Bluetooth but the Wi-Fi is never going to work again because the baseband or something. But if you downgrade it, it would work. But I, the reason it didn't do it with mine was because I used the older version of the iPhone to jailbreak my phone and now Zebra updated the version and that's what does it. It's been messing up people's phones. I've got lots of emails and messages on YouTube and everything like that. But uh, there's also supposed to be some like it's they've I saw it on a bunch of websites because I've heard, I've looked at all the Mac rumors and Gear Live and just all them just people writing about it. Like what they what they've heard and got from inside people at Apple and all that, but there's supposed to be some new enterprise features. I don't really know what they mean by this. Like I think that Apple is going to release Flash with the SDK. Like Flash is going to come with it, or maybe they mean by enterprise features. Maybe it's going to be like uh, something will come out that'll get you prepared for the SDK. Then the SDK will come out. But I, I doubt that. That's what I've heard on like one or two websites. What the that's what the enterprise features mean. But I I doubt that because Apple talked about it last year. Or it maybe not been long. yeah it was last year because it's 2008 now. But Apple was talking about it in last year that the SDK with the iPhone for the iPhone was coming out. Oh, and this will also there's supposed to also be the SDK for the iPod Touch just to, so I don't get all kinds of comments. Will this work for the touch? Will this work for the touch? But uh. 
I'm, I think that the Flash will come out with the SDK. I mean, that's not true, but I, I think it will. And the, I don't think that the inter, new Enterprise features. I don't think that that means that it's going to be. There's going to be a SDK prep, and then the SDK come out later. I think the SDK will come out now because Apple's been working on this for a, a while now, <coughs> and I, it's been said that Apple has seeded some, like gave out some the SDK or software development kits to a few companies to go ahead and start developing. So I think it will be released on March 6th. And on March 6th, once I hear some more information, I'll make another video telling you about just what all happened at the meeting and anything that the update, if there's one to come out that day, just everything about it. But uh, <coughs> I want to, I would like to know what kind of like apps and games Apple's going to introduce with the SDK. If like I would love for Apple to create the to have the NES and Super Nintendo because I love I like doing that, but uh, I highly doubt they will have the NES and stuff because it's really illegal unless you own the games to have them on your iPhone. But I think that once you get the SDK, I think there's going to be a jailbreak for it so you can have some of the other cool apps like because. I don't think Apple is going to do all the stuff that installer app will. I think they'll be it'll still be really good, but some of the stuff Apple won't do because it's really illegal to do that. But uh, I bet you there's going to be some really good games that Apple releases <coughs> or the third-party developers release. But I would I would advise all of you to go back to the like official Apple firmware once it's released because the SDK is going to be I'll bet you it will be better than the installer app I mean that's, that installer app is good but it gives lots of people problems and messes up their phones and then bricks them and if you have any if your phone never gets bricked just message me I know how to fix that it's not really bricked some phones there's no fixing them but most of them there is because I broke my phone like it did it a few times. I kept having to up like I, I had when I was first jailbreaking my phone. I had to it like froze up like three times on me, and I had to it was completely broke like the screen was froze like where it was where I would try to I would download a game or an application or something and I would open it up and it would just freeze and then I couldn't do nothing with it. I'd plug it up to the computer. But I finally figured out how to do it, and I got it fixed. So if you need any help with that, just message me. And I've got an AIM thing now, so if you want to message me on that, I'll probably be on there. It's Ty, Ty O Moss. So if you want to message me, just message me, message me on there. So and Apple likes to uh, give out information on Tuesday. So check out the Apple website or all the and all the Mac most and all that websites <coughs> for some Apple more Apple news on the SDK because they like to give out information on Tuesdays. And if you like some cool apps that you would like to see, leave some comments below because I'd like to know what you'd want to see. Just what kind of apps that you'd like to come out with the SDK. And I would advise you to go back to the original Apple firmware the original Apple firmware when it comes out with the SDK and I'll have more information on this as soon as it becomes available and if you have anything that you want to add to this add to me to tell me if you've heard anything that I haven't uh, leave a comment below or just send me a message thanks for watching please subscribe